The Institute's mission is to further the scholarly pursuit of engineering education and research. So it helps our faculty document the excellent teaching that they do, it helps highlight the teaching that they're already doing, and serve as a model for other institutions. I think one of the really exciting things the Institute for Engineering Education and Innovation does is working with our academic professional track or non-tenure track faculty to help them systematically evaluate their pedagogical innovations as well as helping them get introduced to engineering education. It's really exciting some of the things they're doing helping us reach out with our sister institutions in the Texas A&M University system and those are schools like Prairie View A&M through the Land Grants Day which is an opportunity for faculty at both institutions to work together and create collaborations. We have more than 700 faculty here in the College of Engineering. That includes tenure-line faculty, academic professional track faculty, which are individuals who come here uh, maybe with some industry experience, maybe with expertise in, in instruction. We have more than 30 faculty members who are members of the National Academy of Engineering, recognizing their importance and their contribution to what engineering means. And it's exciting to have these types of faculty here on the campus. We have hundreds of faculty that hold fellowships in their professional society. And all of these faculty are in our classroom teaching our students, uh, taking with them their rich experience in industry, their rich experience in research, their rich experience with national laboratories, and I think providing a context uh, for our students as they learn engineering principles and engineering design. I have the rare opportunity to both teach full-time and begin my doctorate in the field of interdisciplinary engineering. And that opportunity, for the most part, was due to the Institute's ability to convince me that I could use my engineering knowledge to apply it in different areas, specifically educating our future engineers. Our Women in Engineering program tries to build that community. So we work on recruiting women students. We work on making sure that when they come to Texas A&M, they have an opportunity to interact with student organizations, faculty. We have high impact experiences like our project teams, which help them feel included and give them the best possible educational experience. DEI, or inclusivity or belonging, is one of our core principles. And one of the things that we're best at, and specifically, we're best at growing at. We have been having a lot of programs that help faculty get more comfortable with doing things that improve DEI in the classroom, improve belonging in the classroom. The Institute has prepared me to be a global leader in engineering by taking my foundation in engineering and applying it in areas that I would never have dreamed of. For example, in the area of diversity, equity, inclusion. If I am to be able to solve global problems that we face today, I have to embody the diversity of the societies I will serve. The first that I'd like to talk about is our Engineering X program. So this is something our faculty decided that our students needed to have something beyond the curriculum, the courses that are in the catalog. So we have developed lists with each major where the students can pick a high impact engineering experience and engage in that experience and then document it through a reflection paper that they share at the end of that experience. And that gets that experience documented on their transcript. It gives them the opportunity to have that to talk about with their potential employers, future graduate schools, but also pushes them to go beyond the classroom in applications of engineering before they graduate. We have a very robust engineering entrepreneurship program. Our students can get a minor in engineering entrepreneurship. They can take courses in that area. We have Engineering Inc. where the students can learn how to start their own business and we have a number of activities the student can engage in. The first is Aggies Invent, where the students can spend 48 hours on campus and they apply for a team. They don't have to have any experience. We start from freshmen to graduate students, put them on a team, and they're challenged to solve an engineering problem in 48 hours. And we've had some great solutions that come from that. I think students here in the College of Engineering receive a quality education. I think this is most evident, maybe, in the Engineering Project Showcase that our students participate in that really shows a culmination of their engineering design education. We get strong contribution and interest from industry in that engineering project showcase. 
We also receive strong interest from the national laboratories as they come to recruit our students. One of the key challenges of the future is making sure students have the societal context for the innovations that they're going to create. I think in the past one of the key questions was can we do it and in the future it's going to be should we do it. I think the Institute for Engineering Education and Innovation helps faculty members put those ideas into context. They train teachers and students so that they understand the societal impacts of the innovations that they create and make sure that they're doing it in the right way.